Hey guys, so today is another day that does not have the best weather conditions. It is cold and not super great. So I figured I'd do yet another different type of video. This video is gonna be budget travel tips. And so yeah, it's cold. I'm gonna go inside so that we can do it in a better place. Okay, now we are inside and I can actually start the travel tips. Tip number one, if you're going to be traveling, you don't have to go to Africa. You don't have to go to Asia. You can, I mean, if you're already in Africa or you're already in Asia, that's a great place to be because you're already there. You do not have to pay for travel flights. That's, I mean, just cut out the flying and that saves you, I mean... Even inside of the country, it can be five or six hundred dollars easy, sometimes a lot more than that. And yeah, that's just an expense you don't have to have. Tip number two you can travel in your own car. Traveling in your own car allows you to see more places rather than seeing a bunch of clouds. There's just so much more out there, you get to see everything instead of just seeing like. Wow, those city lights are cool from up here in 35,000 feet in the air, or whatever, however high planes go. But you get to see, whoa, look, there's a cow. Or, whoa, look, there's a bunny. You get to see the plant life. You get to see the animal life. I mean, if you're going through Texas, you're going to be like, whoa, a cactus. And that's a big cactus. Oh, hey, look, here's this random monument that I had no idea was here. This is really cool. Why not check this out? It's so much better. Number three. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> that happens a lot. Hey, cat. What's up? Oh, he's a kitty cat. Oh. <laughs> okay, tip number three. Be flexible. That might be number four. I don't remember. Tip number three. Be flexible. And that goes right along with use your car. Stay inside your country and use your car. I can almost guarantee you haven't seen all of your country. Go out, figure out what your country has to offer. You don't even know. I've been searching just in my own state, trying to figure out a bunch of cool stuff to do for this channel. And I was like, I've always been like, yeah, no, this is Utah. There's like, there's Salt Lake and there's Provo and there's St. George. There's pretty much nothing else. And I am completely and totally wrong. We have like four state parks, no, four national parks. And you can spend a week in each of them if you want. I mean, there's so much you can do. So that's one of the reasons why it's gonna take, you know, a couple months for me to be here in Utah. Because, holy goodness, there's a lot to do. There's hiking, there's biking. A lot of the stuff is outdoors and high adventure. So if you like high adventure, Utah's a great place to go. There's fishing, there's camping, there's, ooh, I just had a great memory. If you're flexible, guess what? If you want to take your car over to this area, like if you're in Nebraska and you wanna to go to New Jersey, guess what? If you have a car and it has really good gas mileage, I mean, my car, I got it for $200 and then I fixed it for $300 and then I got hit by a truck and fixed it for $300 more. So all in all, I'm only into my mode of transportation eight or $900 and it runs really well. Sure, it has a few problems that I'm going to have to fix before the rest of the trip, but I mean, I can do that. So it'll be good. Yeah, having, having a car is one of my main favorite things that I'm doing for budget traveling because I can go where I want, when I want, and I can be extremely flexible. Number four, the accommodation. You don't have to stay in hotels. You don't have to stay in resorts. Those things are expensive. There are three other options. And honestly, there's a lot more than that. There's like four or five. There's a lot of options rather than just sleeping in hotels. You can sleep in your car. You can go camping. It's free. 
awesome. Couch surfing. There's a little app on your smartphone or your laptop or whatever you want. And you get to go sleep at random people's houses. And a lot of the times those people are travelers as well. And so they have all kinds of stories and cool places for you to go. So that you can be like, hey, do you know of any cool places around here? And if they're free, you know, they can a lot of the times take you there. They'll be like, oh yeah, this place is pretty cool. But you have to have like an experienced travel guide. Okay, cool. Are you an experienced travel guide? Well, I know the place really well. Okay, let's go. You also get expert advice on the area. And why are they an expert? They live there. Yeah. The last accommodation is hostels. They're a lot cheaper than hotels. You'll be sleeping around, you know, six other people, but you're in your own bunk bed, so it's good. You get to meet fellow travelers that way. Sometimes you can even find traveling buddies. Moving on to food. Food takes up a lot of your money. For food, go to your supermarket. If you want sandwiches, buy stuff for making sandwiches and you can have five or 10 of them if you want. And it's a lot cheaper than going to the restaurant. Travel with more than one person. They can help you out with gas or they can help you out with, you know, getting a room. And it becomes cheaper that way as well. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I really enjoyed doing this and I found I can travel for a lot cheaper than I thought. Travel free guys.